In the summer of 1967, a boy was born in a small coastal village in Hui Lai County, Guangdong Province, China. His name is Wu Zhehang. His alias is Xin Yu. His Buddhist name is Xin Wu. Gym Master Xin Wu had a distinctive childhood. At the age of seven, he met De Zhen and De Zhi, two anchorites from Wu Yi Mountains, also the eminent monks of the Chao Dong sect. When 11 years old, he began his life in the mountains, focusing on Buddhist philosophy, Confucianism, Taoism, and Kung Fu. After eight years, Tempered by thousands of hardships in extreme danger, he finally transcended life and death and obtained enlightenment. At the age of 18, he left the mountains under the order of his masters, went to the famous Shaolin Temple, be apprenticed to the eminent monk De Chan, who was the late abbot of the temple. Not long after, he became the general supervisor, the youngest ever in history. Later, he was initiated into a perfect bodhisattva precept in the White Horse Temple of Luoyang. In 1987, after a 49 days seclusion practice, Zhen Master Xing Wu obtained the enlightenment of Holy Bodhi and attained Varakana Buddhahood. Since that time, he has been known as His Holiness Varakana Xing Wu, an enlightened one in the secular world. He has understood thoroughly the evolution law of the universe, acknowledged his mission in life and being resolved to fearlessly restore the orthodox dharma of Buddhism, promote universal harmony between human and the nature, and upgrade the human civilization to the universal civilization. In the early 1990s, facing the ever-deteriorating ecology on the Earth, His Holiness Varakana Xing Wu pointed out that the three disharmonies were caused by the four separations. And the solution is to learn from life itself. For the first time, he proposed the definition of life. Anything that has experienced the process of a space and a time is life, which grasps the essence of life. In 1995, he advocated and founded the China Life Science Association in Beijing and gained support from more than 500 scientists.
and meanwhile, under his advocation and promotion, the International Life Science Development Foundation and the International Life Science Research Center were founded. In the founding monastery of Zhen, he once challenged the traditional Buddhist practices. He sharply criticized those monks and abbots as they idly receive worshippers from the believers while secluded themselves in the temple pursuing their own achievements. To him, it was cheating the masses in the name of a Buddha. He is a sage of a Buddhahood who intends to return the Dharma wheel and clarify the nature of a Buddhism. Successively, he expounded on Of Heart, Buddhism and the Life, and the Enlightenment Sutra of Hua Zhang Barakana Dharma, etc., pointed out that Buddhism should be rooted in the secular world. To become a complete man is to become a Buddha. The purity of people's heart leads to the purity of the nation. And the practice is to demonstrate the nature of emptiness and the emptiness equates to perceive but not to cling to anything. In preaching the door of the heart intuitive Dharma, he explained the Buddhist lineage and the keys to practice in details and clarified the nature of the holy treasure of the orthodox Dharma of Buddha. All he has done shows that the orthodox Dharma of Buddha exists on earth. He publicized the lineage and the transmission line of the orthodox Dharma of Buddha from Shakyamuni over 2,000 years, completing a unique genealogy of a Buddhist lineage and his role in filling the blank spots in this history. He founded the Hua Zhang Dharma to enlighten people to revive their self-nature, redirect their lives from destructive thoughts and behaviors, promote good virtue, and accommodate differences with the overall goal of improving life. He proposed and practiced the theory of harmony and unity, which means that each acts according to his situation, fulfills his own responsibility. All then live in harmony. He advocated enlightenment-centered cultural diversity so as to integrate the five religions. He popularized a holistic view of life and helped people apply it in running businesses, schools, hospitals, so to promote the harmony of man and the universe. He preached Buddhism in more than 20 regions worldwide. During his preaching in Zhanghua, Taiwan, he burned his inner alchemy with boundless wishes and energy. He inspired human beings and promoted cross-street peaceful reunification. Zhu Yuan. 我们的民族永结同盟，以我们的平等、亲近、慈悲之心，以我们的大无畏之，我们共同的祝愿，世界和平，我们祝愿人类永昌。
He conducted several Buddhist Dharani Dharma ceremony in Nepal and China, praying for world peace and making up for the disasters in the Soha world. In 1999, His Holiness Farrakhana Xing Wu helped people to set up Huazhang Enterprise Limited Corporation, an entity devoted to providing support and services to the economically disadvantaged, including, in particular, the creation of employment opportunities. Not long after that, he wrote letters to the Chinese leaders calling for ending corruption in government and initiating more inclusive democratic process. However, for some political and religious reasons, he was unjustly sentenced to 11 years imprisonment. As a redemption, he firmly bore all the sufferings with a heart of salvation. He was released from prison in 2010. Since then, he has felt sympathy for the ongoing disasters and the frequent loss of life. For world peace, he led Buddhists in temples and at home to hold a grand repentance altar. He opened the websites which served as the preaching place to lead people to inner liberation. With a supreme compassion to save Sajian beings, he announced a number of cost-effective therapeutic methods. The vinegar-soaked soya beans was one of them, which helped the Japanese people against damage from radiation after the tsunami. He has held vigil for the people in the whole world day and the day. Recently, he loudly urged the world to practice fasting for charity and perform a good deed every day, pointed out that it is the only way for self-redemption and to save humanity. He has been demonstrating what Buddhism means in the secular world through his behavior modeling the Bodhisattva of the Mahayana. Over 20 years, there's no differentiation between self and the non-self in his heart, and he has never cared about either honor or shame. He has been sacrificing himself to illuminate the earth and exhausting all his energy to help Satian beings ascend the other shore. In 2010, the Enlightened One exhibited the symbol to prove that he is the 88th successor of Buddha, the 61st successor of Zhen Dharma, the 51st successor of Chao Dong Dharma, and the 32nd successor of the offspring Sangha Dharma. Eminent monk De Chan, the late abbot of Shaolin Temple, the 31st successor of the offspring Sangha Dharma, entrusted him with Yi Shan's painting, drawn by Qing Yuan Xin Shi, the seventh patriarch but the sixth ancestor of Zhen Dharma. Eminent monk De Zhen, the hermit and the heir of Shakyamuni's heart intuitive Dharma, had already secretly entrusted him with a symbol of Buddhist orthodox Dharma, which is the patched robe and armed bow of Shakyamuni brought to China by Bodhidharma. 
The keepsakes or symbols of a Buddhist Dharma from both esoteric Buddhism and ecstatic Buddhism were passed on to His Holiness Varakana Xingwu. He is undoubtedly recognized as the heir and the patriarch of Buddhism. Now, there are millions of his disciples and followers all over the world. He has been donating all his energy to inspire the people's wisdom and excavate the inner glory of the human nature. He identified as the Chakravarti and known for his divine virtue, has won the admiration and the love from the peace-loving people all over the world.